This is where we do jokes. This is a section oh. where we do jokes. Uh -oh. It's kind of comic relief. Okay. <laughs> So this is a topical joke about the flight. But you just read it. You don't read ahead. Oh, no? You can if you want. Malaysian Flight 370 is still missing. You know where they're going to find it? The last place they look. <laughs> the pilot's last words, I've had it with these motherfucking snakes on a motherfucking plane. <laughs> that could be. Yeah, that's, that could be. You're giving me these great jokes. Okay. <laughs> to the Here's camp. what I've learned. You beat up and toss one 19-year-old Hispanic hooker out of a moving car, and they never let you forget it. <laughs> Isn't that true? <laughs> that is funny. That's, that's, that's true. both funny and true. That's, that's, that's too dirty. Let's do no, a nice yeah, joke to clean it up. Opinions are like assholes. Neil Patrick Harris wants to stuff... <laughs> I should usually let me read this ahead. <laughs> Op <laughs> Opinions are like assholes. Neil Patrick Harris wants to stuff his cock in them. Oh, wait. That's just assholes. <laughs> It didn't get a laugh, but I'm laughing. That's very funny. Well, this Lindsay Lohan can't swim a stroke, but she sure knows every dive in town. I want a white. <laughs> that was my favorite. I'm keeping this. That is a favorite. <laughs> uh, I read a story. A 17-year-old kid who stole a plane, crashed it, and survived. Why don't we make the whole plane out of that kid? <laughs> <laughs> that seems logical, right? Makes sense, yeah. right? There you go. Adam Egan. <laughs> Thomas Edison invented the light bulb, but I invented the light bulb up my ass. <laughs> I was ahead of his time. <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I used to think revenge was a dish best served cold, but then I realized it meant getting back at somebody. <laughs> okay, now we'll see this joke. This you made is me a laugh joke. again out loud. This just is reading this it show, to myself. This show is so high quality that, that we, one, we take jokes from the from the dustbins. Barbara Walters announced that she's retiring from the View. Well, actually, she announced it five years ago, but no one could hear her over those yammering bitches. <laughs> see. Accomplished comedian. <laughs> what is accomplished? Did you write this one? This is not against. Accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> this is not against anybody. <laughs> Accomplished comedian Sinbad has announced he's filing for bankruptcy, bankruptcy for the second time. The second time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it's so retarded. <laughs> Sounds like things have gone from sin bad to sin worse. <laughs> A Florida University student was caught streaking on campus and apparently told police he was on acid and asked them to cut his dick off. Boy, these kids today are crazy. In my day, we didn't need drugs. We would just cut our own dicks off. <laughs> yeah, you didn't need no fucking acid and shit. That's a good I one. <laughs> I think my doctor might be retarded. Why? His name is Dr. Retardo. Oh. <laughs> it's a good chance. One of the most That's popular good. documentaries on Netflix. One of the most popular documentaries on Netflix is Jiro. Jiro Dreams of Sushi? Jiro Dreams of Sushi. I've seen that, it's very good. Yeah, it's a have? fantastic yeah. documentary. One of the least popular documentaries, Jiro, Night <laughs> Jiro Nightmares of Astro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, unwatchable. I actually did, I liked it, the DVD commentary. This one's more like a factoid. Danny DeVito looks like one of those guys with a short but thick penis. <laughs> <laughs> right? He has to have the thickest fucking cock. <laughs> uh, it's true. <laughs> this reminds me of your kind of joke. All right. Just from hearing you read jokes. Oh, I like this. I like the theme that, we're, that this one has. A man in Taiwan reportedly cut off his own penis to win an argument with his wife. That reminds me of that episode of Everybody Loves Raymond, where Raymond forgot Deborah's birthday and had to cut his own cock off. <laughs> oh my God! What about this? One. this is what you were talking about earlier. Forty-two. I love the movie Forty-two. It's Chadwick Boseman, like you've never seen him before. <laughs> of course, you've never seen him before. I get that. Yeah. Apparently, someone in Germany stole five metric tons of Nutella 
Police haven't arrested anyone yet, but they are questioning Gunter Hogsbargen, the 700-pound man that smells like chocolate and hazelnuts who guards the new cellar storage <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Larry, you like this. It wasn't too bad. Amanda Bynes is a lush blonde who's quickly turning into a blonde lush. <laughs> See, I tend to laugh at my own. If you were a Russian prostitute on a date with serial killer Andre Chikatilly, a.k.a. the Rostov Ripper, and he couldn't achieve an erection, that was not your lucky day. <laughs> no. The Al-Qaeda online magazine Inspire has a recipe for a homemade bomb. They also have a recipe for a pretty darn good peach cobbler. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not all bad, you know? not I crack up when I see a funny joke and I hear it. You know? China's government has reported they have lost over 28,000 rivers in the past decade. That's weird. <laughs> that is weird. My theory is they sold it into the sordid world of underground river sex <laughs> trafficking. <laughs> That's a really good punchline, a very suspect <laughs> premise. You know, I'm old enough to remember back to simpler, more innocent times when the worst thing you'd hear about the news was hijacked jetliners <laughs> flying into buildings. Oh, now, Gilbert, you're going to get into trouble again. I spoke to Johnny. Oh, he loved that, it. All right. Yes. He <laughs> I think there's nothing cooler than being a lone wolf, except at wolf picnics when you don't have a partner for the wolf wheelbarrow races. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> a new study shows that most men can identify a gay man by his face alone. It's the face that's <laughs> buried in another man's asshole. It's about your friend. Hey, you're not gonna believe this. But Bill Maher has given away the solution to all our problems <laughs> for free. <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> he is, isn't he? Yeah. In my opinion, if we're going to fight the war on terror, a good place to start would be our country's haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that could be in your act, almost. Any of these could be in my act, <laughs> and they will be. <laughs> Tomorrow is National Secretary's Day. Which is true. Is that right? I plan on getting my secretary the same thing I always do, a big fat goosing. <laughs> <laughs> the man behind uh, the voice of Tony the Tiger, sadly, the man behind the voice of Tony the Tiger died at 64. His last words, I don't feel great. <laughs> I gave it something. Yeah. Are these left over from when you did updates? <laughs> <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris posed nude for the cover of Rolling Stone except for a hat hanging off his wiener. And this morning, Adam Egat. Oh, uh, is that your name? <laughs> Fucking change it. <laughs> and this morning, Adam woke up and said, hey, where's my hat? <laughs> Sorry, Neil Patrick Harris is a cock. It's on his dick. Go get it. <laughs> it's there the whole time, man. Playboy magazine has done away with the nude photo layouts altogether. In other words, they've eliminated ladies in the altogether, altogether. Uh, oh, man. That's a very, that's a sort of radio DJ joke, I feel. The way you, you know the way you, 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 your voice, yeah, you had to deliver it. In other words, they've eliminated ladies in the altogether, oh, altogether. Okay. Here's Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> when you're single trying to attract a partner, it's important to project the qualities you desire which I understand, but boy, oh boy, have I had to suck a lot of dick lately. <laughs> That's sort of like a Bobby Lee Jones. It is a lot like a Bobby Lee Jones. All right. You know, you ever hear of steampunk? Yeah, I like it. Oh, you do? Yeah. Well, there's a joke Thank for you. you. I wouldn't call myself a fan of steampunk, but I will say it's the healthiest way to prepare punk. <laughs> 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 do you, are you, do you know, diet sometimes? I know, but do you, do you know, diets and stuff? Yeah, yeah sometimes. Okay, so uh, okay. sort of a diet right. joke a little bit. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, Boy, good. was it hot outside today. I went out to buy a California Pizza Kitchen signature pepperoni frozen flatbread, and by the time I got home, it was perfectly, perfectly cooked and entirely eaten. 100% true. <laughs> Oh, you ate it. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. I love it.